Welcome day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact. On a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, and the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway, and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here, and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific, and kickoff is moments away. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. So it's away we go then. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Dries Mertens. He's just so quick and elusive, Peter. He'll be in behind that defensive line before they even know what's hit them. The way he drifts across the forward line also makes him very difficult to track. And he often lures defenders out of position, creating space for others to sneak into. I think he's going to be a real hit here. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. It's Di Maria. Drexler goes up and over. Up to meet it! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, it was just some wayward passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Saint-Germain are struggling, no one needs to be told that, but what do you say is the biggest reason behind their current problems, Jim? Paris Saint-Germain have yet to win this season. It's the cause, or even the causes for that. Paris Saint-Germain are still winless this season, and it's something that a fair number of critics have had a crack at, but, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, their problem is obvious. They're not potent enough, and they don't look as if they can rectify it any time soon. It's probably, in truth, uh, a combination of, of lesser service and, and questionable finishing. Drexler. Neymar! It's anyone's ball. Good clearance and very necessary. Tries to dink it in. You can get that clear. Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, that's a clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false no He'll have a go. Oh, denied brilliantly. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. <laughs> Lorenzi. Still goalless at the moment. Kimpembe switches it towards the other side. Marquinhos. Lozano. Di Maria. And it's Florenzi. Florenzi. Neymar. Florenzi. Neymar. The 
Ball's come loose and the chase is on. Di Maria. Lozano. Fabian Ruiz. Draxler. And it's Neymar. Now it's Mertens. Insignia. Ball through needs to be good here. And here's Mertens. And here's Insignia. Lozano! That carried quite a threat. Bernat with the crossfield ball. Florenzi plays it long. And he's there to clear it. Kimpembe. And it's played forward. And that has been cleared. Lorenzo Insigne. Mertens. Fabian Ruiz. Forward it goes. First half is done, so now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What's the first half compared with your expectation? Paris Saint-Germain have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed. Good movement and the ball retention has been quite strong and it's led to a few chances. It's just that cutting edge that's lacking at the moment and it's fixable. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. The action has already resumed here. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we need to see more energy and invention early on. Marco Verratti. Mbappe, Di Maria spreads it towards the left. That's gone a long way up and away. Chip through, a little chip, no, not quite. Drexler needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run, he just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Kimpembe. Marquinhos. Kimpembe. Hoists it forward. Mbappe! Superb goal! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead, 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Poussai, and here's Insigne. And it's Mertens. Has a goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. 
Fabian Ruiz. A really good feat from him. And here's Insignia. Oh, good take in a good area. Now it's Insignia. Tries a shot! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage. And it was triggered by the closing down. Busai. And here's Insignia. Lorenzo Insignia. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Mertens. It's Mertens! He has done it! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Napoli grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Kimpembe tries to get it forward quickly. Fabian Ruiz. And it's got through. Politano. Politano making use of the space out wide. Mertens! And he's there to make a great save. Mertens really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Is it out of harm's way? Napoli merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Pablo Sarabia gets away from his opponents. Mertens. Is there any support? He might not need it. Tries one! And somehow he managed to miss it. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead there. Fabian Ruiz set up one goal so far. Usai goes looking. Lorenzo Insigne gets the better of his man. That's not going to make it. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And it's Mertens. Pull it at another time! With the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. <laughs> 
Fabian Ruiz. Mertens. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Politano. Fabian Ruiz. Played into space out wide. Politano. And here's Mertens. Shapes to shoot! Brilliant from Mertens! And that may just do it! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Napoli. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Paris Saint-Germain have fallen short on the day. They're going to need to bounce back from this. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, the game plan for me just looks...